Christine and Michael Barnett claim that Natalia has made a career out of posing as a child. So if that's true, then there's got to be other families that Natalia duped, right? A career implies multiple jobs. If you've been following this story for a while, you know that there was another couple Natalia lived with back in 2009 before the Barnetts. The couple has finally come forward, and I'm going to serve you this update here for you on IO. What is gravy? You are watching Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Once again, I want to thank you for staying up to date with this story. If this is your first time hearing about Natalia Barnett, we have put together a playlist with all the updates, all the new information, all the old information. I will link that down below in the comments for you. By the way, again, if this is your first time here, do me a quick favor and uh, subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, turn on the bell. And you've already done both of those things, then follow the IO team on social media because we love connecting with you guys outside of YouTube. And yes, I do respond to comments, not to DMs. Vincent and Nicole DePaul wanted to adopt Natalia Barnett back in 2009 before she was adopted by Michael and Christine Barnett. Vincent and Nicole DePaul, as you can see, both have a form of dwarfism. So they would likely be a very good judge of whether or not Natalia is an adult masquerading as a child or if she really has been a child this whole time. The DePauls are from Albany, New York. Natalia stayed with them for multiple long weekends when they were trying to adopt her, and they say there is absolutely no way Natalia could be an adult. They provided adoption papers and a stack of paperwork that show her birth year was 2003. September 4th, 2003 was her birth date, making her 16 years old today. So I know you're thinking like, so why are these people coming out of the woodwork now? How do we know that they actually tried to adopt Natalia Barnett. The DePauls have photos with Natalia when she was young and they say that she was missing a tooth at the time. They could see her adult tooth coming in. They also said in an interview she looked like a child. She acted like a child. Do I look like a kid? I'm a dwarf. The DePauls say the Barnett's claim is ridiculous. First of all, one of the main reasons why the Barnetts wanted to abandon Natalia and legally change her age was because they claimed Natalia physically harmed them and their children and allegedly tried to kill them, right? Christine Barnett also claimed in several interviews that Natalia became violent toward her and her family members. She alleges that Natalia pushed her toward an electric fence and poured bleach in her coffee. Pretty shocking stuff, but uh... Hang on just a second. Natalia suffers from a rare congenital form of dwarfism called spondylopiphyseal dysplasia congenita, or SED. It's a growth disorder that not only causes dwarfism, but other medical conditions as well, to the point that someone born with SED might never achieve full independence. Natalia is limited in many ways. She has weak muscle tone, problems getting around on her own, premature arthritis, hearing issues, vision issues, spine complications. It's likely that Natalia will need a wheelchair or another type of mobility device later in her life. And if you look at old photos of Natalia when she lived with the Barnetts, she was so small back then. She was tiny. Is it even physically possible for someone as small as Natalia was, someone like Natalia who struggles to walk and use her hands to push a grown woman into a fence? It's probably hard for Natalia to do basic tasks, let alone push a woman into a fence. Vincent DePaul told the Daily Mail, I quote, if me or my wife tried to push someone into an electric fence, it wouldn't go that well. Regardless, in a new interview with Dr. Oz, Michael Barnett and his attorney dismissed the charges of neglect of a dependent and believe the charges should be dropped. Barnett said, I quote, from the position of, is she a disabled person requiring dependent care? Right now, today, October 23rd, 2019, Natalia has never been ruled by a court to be so physically or mentally disabled that she is considered a permanent dependent by somebody. And we we feel very confident these charges are going to be dismissed based upon that. Michael Barnett and his attorney were accompanied on the Dr. Oz show by Natalia's old pastor, Stephen Thomas. When asked how old he thought Natalia was, he responded, I would say mid to later 20s if I were to guess. According to promotional content, Natalia is expected to make an appearance on Dr. Phil sometime in November. That is all I have for you guys on this for now. I'm going to quickly wrap up this one with some common features from my last video about Natalia Barnett. Anna Garrett said, I'm like she's a kid. Nope, she's an adult. Oops, wrong kid again. Thanks for the coaster ride, Charlotte. I'm starting to question my own kid's age and I birthed them. You are very welcome. I like to provide a good coaster every now and again. Suzanne T said, don't worry, Dr. Phil will be getting to the bottom of this. Yes, he will. I'm really looking forward to that. I've already got my popcorn planned, my, my chips, got it all stacked up. That's a lie, but Matt Cashin said, wow, this story never ends. I wish media would listen to both sides and be more fair. Gotta love sensationalist headlines. That is it for me and thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more and maybe I'll see you in a future IO video.